The body of eight-year-old April Tinsley of Fort Wayne, Indiana, was discovered in 1988. Police say she had been raped and strangled to death. For 30 years, the girl's killer left notes in the area taunting police. But in 2018, investigators finally caught up with 59-year-old John Miller, who confessed to the crime. The cold case was solved with the help of scientists at Parabon Nanolabs in Reston, Virginia. They use advanced DNA analysis and genealogy research to track down Miller. In the April Tinsley case, we didn't get matches as close as we like to see. I was mostly working with third, fourth, fifth cousins, which meant I had to build those family trees pretty far back in time. Based on a suspect's DNA profile, geneticists built a suspect's family tree using information from open DNA databases, newspaper archives, and census data. Scientists also use an advanced DNA technology called phenotyping, which helps determine a person's distinctive physical characteristics like eye color, height, and blood type. Parabon's method, known as snapshot, gives police more information in tough cases where traditional tests aren't enough, say scientists. And then we can look at a crime scene sample where we don't know what the person looks like and make predictions and give confidence statements. Here's the probability that that person has blue eyes instead of green eyes. And most importantly, we can tell investigators, here's the probability that that person does not have a particular trait. The scientists can use the information to develop composites of potential suspects. But while Snapshot can provide detectives with breakthroughs and key details, it doesn't always help push a case forward. Uh, well, it's important to emphasize that the composites that we produce are not photographs. So every prediction that we make is given a range of confidence. So we don't know their age or weight. So we always make our composites as a young adult. Similarly, anything that's a choice, how you wear your hair, whether you have tattoos, you know, scars, things like that, we can't take into account. But despite the limitations, Parabon Nanolabs says Snapshot has helped solve 33 out of 200 cold cases since it was developed in 2015. Maxim Moskalkov for VOA News, Reston, Virginia.